proud. No, don't ask. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe we're looking at this all wrong. Maybe he killed her in his apartment, and then he somehow moved the body back to her house. No, what about the 911 call? She made it from the house. Right. What about liposuction? What? Liposuction, yeah. He, he lipoed himself down to like, uh, I don't know, like 400 pounds. Down the elevator, across town, killed the judge. Or how did he gain all the weight back? Reverse liposuction. Oh, my God. Yeah. He just pumped it all back in. You think that's possible? I don't know. Should I call a doctor? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's keep our reverse liposuction theory to ourselves, okay, Randy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was my office. Yeah, see, I I'm confused because my name is on the door. Don't. Don't blame Sharona, Captain. I have no intention of blaming Sharona. I was just following up on the Ashcombe case. What happened here? I took the liberty of straightening up a little. Where is all my crap? It's in your drawers. And of course, I had to throw some stuff away. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I try to stop him, but... There is no Ashcombe case, Monk. The inquest is over. This is what happened. It was raining. She was a terrible driver. She went off the road. A mudslide covered the car until... Until the biggest flake in North America just happened to find it. And you can't stand that, can you? Dolly Flint showed you up, and you can't stand it. Adrian, sit. Here you go. Unclaimed from the day you were asking about. This is everything. Adrian? I promised Benji I'd take him on the front of the car, so we'll meet you later, okay? Just stay close to the captain, and if you get lost, find a policeman. Promise? Bingo. Look at the sweatshirt. I was thinking the same thing. Zipped all the way up. But it must have been 95 degrees that night. Yeah. So they meet over there, walk through here, get on the ride, go round and round, it stops, and the kid's dead. Did you question the other riders? Oh, yeah. I grilled everybody in the park. I got to listen. Internal affairs. Hey. Look, you just happen to be here, OK? It's your day off, understood? Hey, Walt. Captain. How are you? Mr. Monk, Walter Koffel. How's it going? Yeah, it's a bitch, bitch and a half. What are you doing here? I'm here with my assistant and her kid. I never figured you the amusement park type. Oh, sure, I love it. It's so, you know, edgy. Heard you up for reinstatement. Good luck. Thank you. I really should be going. Have you seen Sharona? Yeah, Sharona's right over here. See ya. Well, give me a couple minutes, I'll get rid of them, all right? Well, what should I do? Just have fun. Fun? Yeah. Look, you've seen other people have fun. Imitate them. How did it uh, go this afternoon, sir? That was rough. Well, I'm sure you did everything you could. You uh, want to go grab a drink? No, I'm good. Hey, Randy. Did I ever tell you about Monk's first day as a detective? No, sir. Have a seat. He didn't have a partner, so I got stuck with him. Was he, you know? No, he was a little wound. He used to wipe off the windshield and rearrange the glove box before we'd roll. Anyway, we're the primaries on a body in a hotel in the Castro. A hooker had swallowed a bunch of uh, promazine, you know, the big sleeping pills. A horse tranquilizer, sir. I said suicide. Every cop on the scene said suicide. Medical examiner said suicide. Monk walks in, says murder. Where's the water? The room had no water. Simple. Eight people in the room, but nobody saw that. Well, I'm sure you would have seen it eventually, sir. Don't kid yourself. There is only one. Adrian Monk. Captain. You just missed the deputy commissioner. Guess what he wanted to talk about? 
Murder rate spiking? The Sidney Teal investigation? No. All he wanted to know was what we're doing about the runaway cop. Freddy cop. Excuse me? That's what they're calling him. We, uh, sort of pieced together the route he took. Oh, I don't know. Okay. After the shooting, three people saw him running west towards the park here, and on 19th here, he flagged down a taxi. He took a taxi? Yeah, it gets worse. He uh, threw up in the back seat. Yeah, but we did get his blood type from the vomit. The taxi then uh, dropped him off at a bar up on Geary Street. There, where he sat in a booth at the back, apparently drinking bourbon and crying. He was crying? Oh, dear Lord. About midnight, an older woman in a brown station wagon was seen picking him up. Possibly his mother. He called his mom? Yeah. Well, this son of a bitch better hope I don't find him first. He wrote about it in his book. Back in college, Sidney had a big date with Angie DeLuca. He wasn't much of a ladies' man, and he was trying to impress her. So the two of you cooked up a plan? Yep, you cooked up a plan. Would you like to tell it? No, 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 you, you, you're, you're better at telling it. Yeah, yeah, but go ahead, you can, you can tell it. No, you tell it. I'll tell it next oh, time. For God's sake, somebody tell it. Hey, <laughs> I can't do that, sir. Then shoot me. Talk with a broken jaw. I don't have a broken jaw. Miss Mass, this is Captain Stottlemyre. Oh. This is Mass. How do you do? He'll be in charge of the case from here on in. Thank God. Good job, Lieutenant. Oh, thank you, sir. Sure. Sure. Hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, his arm's in a sling. Oh, sorry. What happened? It's nothing. I fell off my motorcycle. I was on the dirt trails north of Highway 18. Slipped on a bunch of wet leaves. It could have been a lot worse. You're a very lucky man, sir. Yeah, well, I don't feel like a lucky man. It's a feeding frenzy out there. We've got to be very careful how we handle this one. Yes, sir. Are you okay? So what's the plan? Well, you know how they handle the OJ case down in Los Angeles? We do the opposite. Where are we? Uh, same as I told you on the phone, sir. Mrs. Mass is reasonably sure that she can recognize the assailant's voice. Reasonably sure? Excuse me, Mrs. Mass? Do you listen to country and western music? No, I like classical. Okay, good. Bring him in. Captain, I wouldn't tell that story about your accident to too many people. Why not? Well, the hills north of Highway 18 have been closed for two weeks. Brush fires. Really? What really happened? I was cleaning my gutters and slipped. Fell off the ladder. It's jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle